Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to watch this training video on adding medications within the MTBC Web EHR. To add a medication to a patient's record, find the Plan of Care Medication section. Next, click on the option for New Rx. This will open the Formulary Benefit Plan information for that patient. This being a test patient, we have no benefit plan information. However, if a formulary was available for this patient's insurance, then you'd see the formulary listed here, and you could select that formulary. For the time being, we're just going to click Use None and continue with our e-prescribing. Here we see the Add Modify Medicine window. At the top of the screen, we have the patient's name and demographic information, as well as address to the right-hand side. Below, we can see the prescriber and the type of medication that we want to document. There are four distinct types of medications that can be documented. An e-prescription is a medication that will be sent electronically to the pharmacy. A prescription is any medication that you want to just document on the patient's record without sending it to the pharmacy. For example, if a patient provides a list of the medications they're currently taking, you would use the prescription option to simply document those medications. Non-prescriptions could be considered over-the-counter medications that might be prescribed. Some offices also use the non-prescription to document any DME supplies that are provided to the patient. A sample is any medication that would have been an e-prescription but was provided to the patient during their office visit. To send a prescription electronically, choose the option for e-prescription. This option should also be the default if the provider that's selected has rights to send e-prescriptions. Let's go ahead and choose a pharmacy for this patient by clicking on the plus sign. This will open our pharmacy search window. Your default list of pharmacies will be displayed right away. You can also search for any pharmacy by using the search or the advanced search. Advanced search lets you find pharmacies by zip code. Here plug in your zip code and click search. The results will show just those pharmacies in your zip code. Choose the pharmacy that you'd like to use. And now we're back on the e-prescribing window. Let's go ahead and find a medication. There are two ways to search for medications. One is to use the My List, or you can search for all medications. Your My List is a customized list of successful electronic prescriptions that you've sent in the past. It will not only default the quantity, the day supply, the refills, but also medications and their strength. Your My List gets compiled as you send successful electronic prescriptions. For now, let's just click on All and type in the medication that we'd like to send. Let's go ahead and search for Lipitor. After you've typed out the medication name, click the Enter key on your keyboard, or click the Search button. The results will display below. Select the medication of your choice, and then you can choose a SIG. Use the drop-down menu to choose a default SIG. Or you can build an advanced SIG by clicking on the option for advanced SIG. Here you can use these simple drop-downs to automatically customize a SIG. Once this medication is sent successfully, this medication and its SIG will automatically be part of your My List. Type in a quantity and choose a day supply. Any refills can be selected from here. And once you've reviewed any relevant drug warnings or alerts, you can click OK to submit this prescription. The summary window will display and show you the details of that prescription, and then click OK to send that medication. Do you have any questions about the training video that you just watched? Give our technical support a call. The call is free, and technical support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you.